Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mattel Jurassic World review. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Extreme Damage Atrociraptor. Now, when I went to Walmart today, yeah, I promised on Twitter that I was going to, you know what, I'm done making promises because I'm just going to get what I find from now on. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about before we start this review is that when I went to Walmart, they had some really good Dominion figures that were anticipated for me to, for them to put into the store because they haven't had them in there for a while. They had the Thrash Control T-Rex. Well, the Thrash Control T-Rex, my bad, did I say Thrash and Thrash? I meant to say Thrash and Devour, sorry. They had the Thrash and Devour T-Rex, not for the first time in the Walmart store, the local Walmart store, but they had it before. They had it months ago, and they, and then after that, it just wasn't showing up for about a couple months after that. And now, recently, they just restocked it. So I'm really happy that they did that, even though I won't get it soon. And also, another figure that has been added to the shelves of our local Walmart, it is the new Giganotosaurus. That's right. The I forgot the name of it, but it's a Giganotosaurus Jurassic World Dominion figure that came out. And um, <clears throat> so, yeah. I have seen the Giganotosaurus multiple times in Target, but actually no, I've seen it in Target one time and this is my first time seeing it at Walmart because I've never seen the Giganotosaurus in Walmart before, so that was my first time seeing it. And also, Wave 3 of War Strikers of the Jurassic World Dominion War Strikers came out, so not only that they came out months ago, but they've also been stocked in our local Walmart because... I didn't, I had no, because here's the thing, when I went there, I was really surprised, and I had no clue when they were going to stock those figures, because I'm like, oh, come on, it's been like a couple months since you, it's been like this long since people have been doing reviews, and all of a sudden, they just put these figures in our local Walmart and Target and stuff like that. So yeah, they had the Ichthyovenator. They had the Wave 3 Rogersaurus, the blue one. They had him as well. They also had the Pteranodon too, which is also part of Wave 3. There's only three waves. There's only three waves. They had some or most of Wave 3, and then they still had Wave 1. Of course, they're going to have Wave 1. It's the first wave of figures. But they didn't have all of Wave 1, surprisingly. They had a Rogersaurus and a... I think the only Wave 1 figures that they have was... I think it was the two Abeliosaurus just featuring Scorpio, Venator, and the Rajasaurus. And then they had another Rajasaurus, the blue one. They had a blue Rajasaurus, and then they had the brown one, which looks pretty cool. And they also had a Velociraptor blue figure. I was going to get that one because I really wanted a blue figure, but now I'm like, ah, oh, screw it. I might as well get a new species of dinosaur that I never had before. And anyways, I ended up picking this up. And they also, and also one more thing, they also had some other extreme damage figures. They had the extreme damage T-Rex. They always had that in there. I don't know why I'm explaining that, but just to let you guys know, they had him, they had the extreme. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. They had the, they had like wave two of the extreme damage. They had the extreme damage Atrociraptor. They had the Velociraptor that I got months ago. They had him. That was part of wave one of Extreme Damage. They also had the Extreme Damage Choleris, and there was another dinosaur. There's also a new species of dinosaur that they have. It's called the Genoidectus Cirrus. So yeah, I really wanted to get him because he looked really cool. But anyways, I'm gonna go over those figures when we go over the packaging. But anyway, let's get to the review. So, here we got the Atrociraptor and if you guys aren't I keep forgetting the names of the Atrociraptors well I know the names but I keep forgetting which one is which except for Ghost because Ghost is a white Atrociraptor but this one is red but in the movie this Raptor is actually orange or tan something like that it's not actually red they made him red I think this is supposed to be oh what's his name it's either Panthera or, dang, I keep forgetting their names, but anyways, <coughs> okay, but anyways, let's go over the review, you got the Extreme Damage logo down here, a Traps Raptor down here, 
the Dominion logo down here. And you got that fiery sunset looking background of the packaging. You got the Rex and Render right here, which looks pretty cool. Then you got the Dominion logo on the side as always. So yeah, oh yeah, and also one more thing, they had the Pyroraptor, I was forgetting about him too. They had the Pyroraptor, the Genuodectes Cirrus, that's a new species of dinosaur that we've gotten in this franchise of toys. So they had him, they had Pyroraptor, they had a Trosseraptor, they had Velociraptor, they had Colerus, and they had some other two damage figures that I probably already mentioned. And also, just to let you guys know, if my voice sounds a little bit different, then I am sick, but if you guys are aware of that, if you guys are aware of my voice sounding different, then yeah. So yeah, I have a little bit of a cold right now. That's why I feel, not feel, but that's why I sound different a little bit to you. So yeah, <clears throat> sorry. Um. So yeah, they got the Genoa Deck D-Series down here. Correct me if I pronounced that wrong. They have the Power Raptor. I was going to get the Power Raptor. I really wanted him, but anyways, they had, actually no, anyway, I'm done going over the figures, but anyway, let's just get to this. Here's the action feature for the, well, here's the scan tag to pull it up. And uh, here's the Mattel logo, Stream Damage logo, Trash Raptor. <coughs> Sorry. And that's pretty much it about the packaging. So let's, yeah, so let's go over this figure and take a closer look at its fine details and yeah so what i'm gonna do let's get to it okay so the figure is out of the packaging and here it is so like i was trying to mention earlier i think this is either red or panthera or it's one of these raptors names i keep forgetting one of them you got ghost ghost is the white one obviously you got red panthera and then you got Oh crap. I think this is red. Maybe. This might be red because due to its overall color. So yeah. I'll find out after I'm done making this video. But anyways, let's just get to it. So I gotta say, this is probably my favorite Atrocinaptor figure that has ever been released by Mattel. Not because of the action feature, but because of the paint apps, really. The paint apps are actually gorgeous. It's like I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like a dark red contrast and everything. And then it has like these black stripes that goes along its body. Uh, it looks really good. And also, of course, they didn't paint the toe claws, obviously. They didn't paint the finger claws either, or hand claws. So yeah, um, <clears throat> here's the action feature. You cannot see it, or you can barely see it because it's so dark down in my basement. And um, yeah, then you got you got the overall red color. It is up on the face. You got the really really nice stripes. The ooh, they look they did a great job with the the black details on the face and the snout. It looks really good. They did a great job. Ooh, sorry. They did a great job with the teeth. The teeth looks really well. Um, I really like how they did the teeth and yes, it looks really good. Then they bring this detail and design all the way down to the neck. Then you got the swivel neck, the articulation in the neck. Then you got, then you got, it goes all the way down to, here's the thing. It doesn't go all the way past to the tip of the tail, but at least they got it past the articulation of the tail. I'm happy that they did that. Other than that, I'm totally fine with the figure and how it turned out. Um, I don't know if they were supposed to put the block stripes on the hips or the leg. Maybe they don't look like that in the movie. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to that. So yeah, they got this red overall color on the body. They got it on the other side too. It goes all the way down to this part of the leg. And then it stops right there, and then it turns into a white color, and then the white continues on to the foot and the rest of the leg. Same thing with this side. Uh, it looks really cool. They also got the jaw and part of the mouth white. It looks really well. I really like how 
I really like how the red turns into the white at the bottom. It looks really well. But for some reason right there, it just looks like a plain white raptor or something. So, yeah. And you got the the articulation. I think it can rotate 360. I might be wrong. I'm going to try. Ooh. Hold on. Probably not. Yeah, it cannot. <laughs> yeah. I should have thought about that before doing this. So, yeah. It cannot rotate 360. And I'm pretty sure this leg can also not rotate 360 as well. Mm. So, yeah. But, however, oh, yeah, and also the legs don't have any swivel hips. So, I'm really happy that they didn't do that. They have 360 articulation on the arms. So, yeah, they did that. You can also do the same thing. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice sounds stuffy. Apologize again. Um, you can also spin the arms 360 as well. So, yeah, this is a great, great figure. I'm really happy that I bought this. And uh, then you got the tail articulation that goes all the way down. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, the tail articulation can rotate 360. Uh, you did that. Then you got the extreme damage action feature. You press that button. And then there. And then, <coughs> sorry. Then you got the, the scan code. If you want to put this dino into your collection in the Jurassic World Fab Shop, you can do that. Just scan it right there. And, you know, and I'm going to see if it can stand up straight. So, let's try some poses with it. Ooh, pose. So, yeah. This is a great figure. So, yeah. I really love this figure a lot. They totally did a great job with this. So, I'm going to do some comparisons, but I'm probably not going to do too many. I'm only going to do about like four, because I don't feel like bringing my big figures all the way down. So, but anyways, we're going to do some comparisons. And the first comparison will be, sorry if that great piece of metal is in the way, but yeah, the first comparison will be the latest reviewed or, or or most recent last review, the Brachiosaurus. And I gotta say, this Brachiosaurus is like shorter from the back, but taller to the head. So yeah, this Brachiosaurus is, ooh, man. I think it was, I think this is kind of accurate, the size comparison, because the Brachiosaurus wasn't too big. The baby Brachiosaurus wasn't too big in Camp Cretaceous, so yeah. There goes that, and then here we go with the wave mate, the Velociraptor. So we got the Velociraptor and the Atrociraptor right now, and I gotta say, I think, hold on. I think the the Atrociraptor is a little bit bulkier than this Velociraptor, so. Here we go. Let's have them square off for a second. So yeah. So, yep. Yeah. That's how wide they can open their that's how wide they can open their mouths. And then here we go with the Dimetrodon, another extreme damage figure with the Atrociraptor. The Atrociraptor and the, my bad, the Dimetrodon and the Velociraptor are part of wave one while this Atrociraptor is part of wave two or wave three, I don't know. So yeah, there goes the, the 
Dimetrodon. And last but not least, here we go with the Armored Lizard, the Ankylosaurus. So, yeah, the Ankylosaurus is a lot bigger than the Atrociraptor in the movie. So it should be a little bit bigger than that. It shouldn't even be, it shouldn't even be around the same length as that. I mean, it's a little bit longer than the Atrociraptor, but not, not so much longer though. So yeah, that is a false comparison or an inaccurate comparison to how it was in the movie. But who cares, it's a movie. There goes the cop source and do its stuff. Oh wait. So I don't, didn't even knock it down. But anyways, yeah, there are, those are the comparisons. So yeah, those are the comparisons and overall review. So I gotta say, I really, really like the Atrocity Raptor. It's a really, really great figure. I really like how the how the um, the paint apps were put into motion or action. They were really good. Um, Mattel they did a great job detailing the stripes on the mold, and they did a really good job on that. They did an overall good job on just everything pretty much everything like or if not most things on the figure and i really like how they faded the red coming into a white color at the at the bottom of the feet and the leg so i really dang it what the heck so yeah i really appreciate how they did that and it looks really nice and so far this is sorry so far this is one of my favorite extreme damage figures probably my top i'd say this is probably one of my top uh i want to say this is probably one of my top three or top four favorite extreme damage figures i can't even tell what figure i like actually no to be honest so i still like this velociraptor more than this atrociraptor though because of the because of how they did the the paint apps and everything and they actually colored the toes or the claws or whatever so yeah uh yeah so anyway guys if you enjoyed this review of this atrociraptor figure leave a like down below comment down if you want to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications that way you don't miss out on any uploads or streams that come out in the future and yeah so yeah check up for more updates and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya